What's up guys, Justin here with thecgessentials.com. So in today's video, I'm gonna teach you a quick tip that's gonna make importing things from your asset browser a lot easier. Let's go ahead and just jump into it. All right, so if you're anything like me, you've probably dealt with this issue before. So when you drag things in from the Blender asset browser, sometimes what happens is if you make adjustments, you might actually find them reflecting across the asset browser objects. So. All right, so this is an asset from the Blender add-on Wrap Master. And um, you can see how what you do with this is you take it and you use it to wrap around different objects, right? And this isn't about Wrap Master, it's just kind of an idea of what this does. Well, the problem is if you come in here and you make adjustments like we did right here in order to get this to wrap around, what you might find is if you were to drag this wrap in again, notice how those changes are now actually reflected in the object that we have right here, right? So the changes that we made to one object in our scene are being reflected in the actual asset browser object itself, which is not what we want because we wanna be able to bring in a fresh version every single time. So what we can do instead, I'm gonna go ahead and I'm, un I'm gonna undo this so that the changes haven't been made in here, um, is we're going to, there we go. So we're going to, instead of importing this object this way, what we wanna do instead is we wanna adjust our import preferences. Now there's two different ways to do this, right? There's a way right here where you can click the drop down and notice how there's multiple different options in here for ways that we can bring our object in. You can also change this in your settings so that it never um, comes up the wrong way again. But let's take a look at this way first. So there's three different ways that you can import objects from your asset browser, right? There's the link, the append, and the append reuse data. Now, for some reason, the append reuse data seems to be kind of the default when you add these in the asset browser. But basically what that does is that means that if you take an object, right, and you change it, so let's say that I was to just scale this top version up, right, like this. So if you make a change to this, if you bring this in with the append reuse data, what Blender is going to try to do is it's going to try to share the data across the different assets that are in here. So what that means is that means that if I was to drag this in again, because we had this set as the append reuse data, notice how this has the changes that were incorporated in here applied to it. And I don't necessarily want that. And so what we can do instead is we can click on this drop down and we can select the option for just simple append rather than append reuse data. And so when we do that, what that means is this means that every time we bring this in, this is going to bring this in um, as a completely new instance or copy of an object inside of Blender. So now if I was to make some changes to this one, and we'll just do something simple again. To scale this out like this. Notice how if I bring in a new version, it's just going to be this original version right here. And so the downside to this obviously is you're not sharing materials or information across the objects, but the upside is that they're not linked. So it just kind of depends on what you're trying to do when you're setting this up. All right, and so there's also an option in here to use a link function. And so when you bring this in as a link, what that's gonna do is that's just gonna bring this object in here, but notice how it comes in as kind of a read only object, right? All it's going to do is just link back to the original asset file. Um, and basically it's just going to be in here, but you can't really edit it or change it or anything like that. But any changes that you make in the source file um, are going to be reflected on this object as well. Now, one thing I don't know is if there's a way to like bring these in linked and still change the uh, location of them. Um, I don't have one of those. Um, I don't have a way to do that, but there may be a way to do that. Somebody might know that, um, but just know the link is basically just linking back to the original file and not something that's really gonna be super editable. Now, one other thing about this is if you're using a tool like this Wrap Master, for example, and you wanna set this up where the assets always come in one of these three ways, what you can do is notice how there's an option up here for follow preferences. So what follow preferences means is it means if you go up to edit preferences in your asset library section right here, notice how you can set what your preferred import method is. So for each one of these, you can set this to be just append, 
rather than a pinned reuse data or link. And you can set this for each one of these, right? So you can set each one of these to have its own um, different import type. And then once you save this, right? So I'm gonna save my preferences right here. Well, now if we come back in here and we have follow preferences set, then this is always going to just append a new version without reusing data. So you can set that as the default inside of your preferences. All right, so leave a comment below. Let me know if this was helpful to you. If you knew about this, I just love having that conversation with you guys. As always, thank you so much for taking the time to watch this and I'll catch you in the next video. Thanks guys.